St. Peter's Basilica, also known as the Papal Basilica of St. Peter in the Vatican or simply St. Peter's Basilica, is a Renaissance-style basilica situated in Vatican City, the Papal Enclave inside the city of Rome, Italy. Originally intended to replace the ancient old St. Peter's Basilica, which was constructed in the 4th century by Roman Emperor Constantine the Great, it was first envisioned by Pope Nicholas V and then Pope Julius II. The current basilica's construction started on April 18, 1506 and was finished on November 18, 1626. The most well-known example of Renaissance architecture, and according to interior measurements, the largest church in the world, St. Peter's, was primarily created by Donato Bramante, Michelangelo, Carlo Moderno, and John Lorenzo Bernini. St. Peter's is recognized as one of the most sacred Catholic sites, despite the fact that it is neither the Mother Church of the Catholic Church nor the Cathedral of the Diocese of Rome. The Archbasilica of St. John Lateran in Rome holds these similar titles. It has been called the greatest of all churches of Christendom and having a unique position in the Christian world. According to Catholic legend, St. Peter, the most important of Jesus' apostles and the first bishop of Rome, was interred in the basilica. According to legend, St. Peter's grave is situated right beneath the basilica's high altar, also known as the Altar of Confession. Because of this, St. Peter's has housed the remains of numerous popes throughout the early Christian era. St. Peter's is well known for its liturgical activities and as a destination for pilgrims. Every year, the Pope preside over a number of liturgies in the Basilica or the nearby St. Peter's Square, which are attended by anywhere between 15,000 and 80,000 people. The early Christian Church, the Papacy, the Protestant Reformation, the Catholic Counter-Reformation, and a number of artists, most notably Michelangelo, are just a few of the historical associations that St. Peter's has. It is recognized as the greatest edifice of its day in terms of architecture. St. Peter's is one of the seven pilgrim churches of Rome and one of the four churches in the world with the title of Major Papal Basilica, all of which are located in Rome. Contrary to what many people believe, it is not a cathedral since the Pope's Cathedra as the Bishop of Rome is located at St. John Lateran. The basilicas of St. John Lateran, St. Mary Major, and St. Paul outside the walls are the other three major basilicas of Rome, all of which are also papal basilicas. St. Peter's Basilica is one of the four major basilicas of Rome. St. Peter's Basilica has priority over all other minor basilicas in the globe due to its status as a major basilica. It falls within the sovereign jurisdiction of the Vatican City State, not Italy, unlike the other papal major basilicas, which are all partially within Italian territory. The other three papal major basilicas, on the other hand, are located in Italy and not in the territory of the Vatican City State. Article 15 of the Lateran Treaty of 1929 The Lateran Treaty of 1929, Article 13, however, requires Italy to recognize the Holy See's full ownership of these three basilicas and to grant them all the immunity granted by international law to the headquarters of the diplomatic agents of foreign states Lateran Treaty of 1929, Article 15. It is the most notable structure in Vatican City. The Rome skyline is characterized by its dome. It has a 2.3 hectare footprint, making it conceivably the biggest church in 5.7 acres. One of the holiest places in Christianity and Catholic tradition, it is customarily where St. Peter's remains are interred. St. Peter was the leader of the Twelve Apostles of Jesus and, in accordance with legend, the first bishop of Antioch and later the first bishop of Rome, making him the first pope. The martyrdom of St. Peter in Rome is not mentioned in the New Testament, but according to tradition based on the writings of the Church Fathers, his tomb is located in the Confession Basilica beneath the Baldachin and altar. Due to this, numerous popes have been interred in the necropolis beneath the basilica since the early days of the Church, close to Pope St. Peter. On April 18, 1506, work on the current basilica, which was built atop the previous Constantinian basilica, began. It was completed in 1615. Finally, Pope Urban VIII gave the Basilica a solemn dedication on November 18, 1626.
The formal papal residence is not St. Peter's Basilica, nor is it the most important basilica in Rome. The Archbasilica of St. John Lateran, the mother church of all churches in communion with the Catholic Church, which is the Pope's cathedral, holds this honor. However, because to its size, proximity to the Papal Palace, and placement within Vatican City proper, St. Peter's is unquestionably the Pope's principal church in terms of usage, where the majority of Papal liturgies and festivities take place. The Chair of St. Peter, also known as the Cathedra, is a historic chair that was given to numerous popes but is sometimes said to have been used by St. Peter himself. It represents the continuing line of apostolic succession from St. Peter to the current pope. It is elevated in the Basilica's apse, sustained metaphorically by the church's doctors and illuminated symbolically by the Holy Spirit. St. Peter's Basilica, one of the key buildings that make up the historically significant and aesthetically significant Vatican City, was listed as a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1984. As of 2016, St. Peter's Basilica is the largest Christian church edifice in the world by the two latter measures and the second largest by the first, with an exterior area of 21,095 square meters and an interior area of 15,160 square dot as of 2016, the height of its dome, which is 448.1 feet or 136.8 meters, makes it the second tallest structure in Rome. The towering height of the dome made it one of the tallest structures in the old world, and it is still the tallest dome in the world today. Although it was the largest dome in the world in terms of diameter when it was finished, it no longer maintains that title. The Piazza di San Pietro is located to the east of the Basilica. The current layout, which was built between 1656 and 1667, is the result of Bernini's Baroque inspiration. He inherited a space that had previously been occupied by an Egyptian obelisk, which had been strategically placed in the center, somewhat like Moderno's facade. The second largest standing obelisk, known as the Witness, stands at 25.31 meters in height and a total height of 40 meters when the base and the cross are added. It was moved from Egypt and erected near the Circus of Nero in 37 AD, where it is said to have witnessed St. Peter's crucifixion. On September 28, 1586, Pope Sixtus V ordered that the obelisk be moved to its current place. Domenico Fontana oversaw the operation, which was fraught with danger because the friction caused the ropes supporting the obelisk to start smoking. Benedetto Bresca, a San Remo sailor, fortunately spotted this issue and quickly intervened, earning his city the right to supply the basilica with the palms on each Palm Sunday. The other structure Bernini had to cope with in the old plaza was a sizable fountain built by Moderno in 1613 and placed to one side of the obelisk, creating a line parallel to the facade. This horizontal axis is a key component of Bernini's innovative, dynamically spatial, and profoundly symbolic design. The two most obvious options were either a trapezoid piazza that fanning out from the church facade like that in front of the Palazzo Publico in Siena, or a rectangular piazza of enormous proportions such that the obelisk stood prominently in the fountain and a matching companion could be added. The drawbacks of the square plan include that it would require the destruction of various structures, including parts of the Vatican, in order to achieve the required width to accommodate the fountain, which would also lessen the impact of the facade. On the other hand, the trapezoid layout would increase the facade's apparent width, which was already considered a flaw in the design. Bernini's brilliant response was to divide the piazza into two parts. The trapezoid portion closest to the basilica narrows rather than spreading out from the facade. The visual perception is effectively thrown off balance by this. The building appears closer than it actually is, the width of the facade is minimized, and the height appears to be bigger in relation to the width when viewed from the second section of the piazza. The piazza's second half is a huge elliptical circus that gently descends down to an obelisk in the middle. A colonnade made of doubled pairs of columns that supports an entablature with a straightforward Tuscan order frames the two distinct regions. Thanks for watching and do not hesitate to smash the like and subscription buttons.